Hey guys, Fire Guy here, and back with another Power Rangers review. And as the second Power Rangers um, Megazord review, I'm doing Dino Thunder. Now, some of you might not notice this, but I am a big fan of dinosaurs. As I am just a big fan of dinosaurs. And as you can see, especially from my Triceratozord, I'm using the Blizzard Force Megazord's um, mid body, and he's missing a horn, so he's a Biceratops right now. I'm borrowing the Blizzard Force's um, Pterodon Zord because of one reason, and that's because the Blizzard Force Megazord was inspired by a Japanese Megazord from the um, Japanese version of the Dino Thunder movie, of the Dino Thunder character's movie, that only used the, um, it's called, the, basically a repaint of, um, the Tyranodon Zord with, a, ah, here we go, with this head, blue, silver, and black repaint, and, uh, basically white, silver, and red repaint of Triceratodon, with this head. So, yeah. Now, the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I'm still trying to look for the, this guy's pieces. Cannot find the pterodon. So, and I've been wanting to review these guys. So, yeah. The only complete one is the triceratodon. And, wait one second. First of all, I gotta say, the triceratodon... So word is huge. All right, it's so huge that I have to have him crouching. As you can see, wait, as you can see crouching just for him to be in screen in the shot. So as you can tell from that, he's pretty huge. And being that his, sorry about the noise, I'm just, I did not plan anything that I'm doing out. <laughs> Now, as you can see, because of him crouching, uh, me having to put him into view by crouching him, he's a big fella. And when compared to the other red Zord I reviewed, he is huge. Lengthwise, he is huge. I can barely get the Tyrannosaurus into shot. So, yeah. There's that. Now... In the show, they had um, a couple extra swords, like the Parasword, the Demetrion Zord, and the Ankylo Zord. And I, and also there was um, the White Draco Zord. I think it was. I can't show you Draco Zord combination or the. Um, Stegazord's formation because I do not have them on me right now. So I think that's a good explanation. Ha. So uh, let's get to forming into Megazord. For Pterodon Zord, you just want to take off her legs. Oh, by the way, she. This is her wingspan, so yeah. You want to put down her head, fold up the wings, and then move them like this. Okay, for the Triceratozord, all you gotta do is just fold up the legs, and then you're done. For the Tyrannozord, you gotta straighten out his legs. Now, basically, these guys, all you gotta do is just look at the TV show and know what to do. But, yeah. So, then you take this bit off, you open it in the back, put it down, do that. Do... Do, do. By the way, when they get the retro fire, when the retro fire figure of this guy comes out, I will be getting him. Pull up the arms. Do this. This. Do this. Pull down the tail. Bring the head around. Push it back. Lift up in this. Open up his mouth to help you. Push out his head. And sorry, I bet you guys can't see that. Wait one second. There we go. So, as 
so there is the Tyrannosaur. Now, in the show, they did this once because um they couldn't have because Tyranna because Kina, who was the Tyranna, the Yellow Ranger, wasn't um available at the time. I think she was at a concert or something like that. So, um, Connor and Ethan, they formed into this version of the Megazord. Well, minus the white. And, yeah, that body. Just imagine if it's blue, yellow, and s still silver. So, yeah, they formed into this mode, which they did for, like, a little while. Then when Kina came... They formed into the Megazord, which basically all you got, the full-on Megazord, which basically all you gotta do, put the top fin here, inside of the bottom of the, um, Tyrannosaur's mouth, plug her into there, plug in the, th the wings, take her legs, put all of them in the same, there you go. Now, this does hinder one articulation bit that it had without um, the pterodon connected. At first, it had waist movement. Now, it does not. So, yeah, and also the legs can't really go. Okay. Legs can't go as far as they could have. So, yeah. Now, as a Megazord itself, it's pretty good. Get a switch here to turn on, to spin the drill. This way, there's a button either. Is on the back? Nope. Oh. Button right. Where's that button? Where is the button? No. There's a button right here. It's more or less for um, dino mode for you to do a reverse version, but I'm not going to do that. Did the batteries just run out? Like, right then and there? Well, then again, it is um, the original battery. <laughs> nope, still working. And yes, okay, this, these are the original batteries. So, fixed it up. So, yeah, they had the Dino Drill Attack, which was their original finisher. And then, later on, they found out that they could take off the Tricera head, take off the Tricera tail, Rip off the um, Tyranno tail, flip this handle down from the Tricera tail, plug in the Tyranno tail to the Tricera tail to form this um, spear type thing, and then from the Tyranno sword, just pull out the handle. Tyranno sword goes into this hand. Oh, by the way, this, this thing back here allows um, this to do that. Eh, the best. Flip out the hand, that, plug it into the hand, and then there we have the dino, the thunder, uh, the thunder Thor, the thunder source megazord, uh, with, with a shield and a staff, type deal, staff, th sword, type deal. Now, not, in all of reality, Holy cow, that's stuck in there. Ah, uh, there we go. All of reality, I like this bit, but I don't like the Triceratops version. Doesn't really look like a shield. While the... Well, this version does, because it covers up a larger area. So, yeah. There's one good bit about having a Blizzard Force Megazord. Ha, ha, ha. So, putting everything back into its original state, we will now be activating the extra zords. Which, uh, in all of reality, I do not remember when slash how did they get it. So I'm not gonna be doing like some reviewers where they um, cut to a certain to so to the zord and saying of how they got it and all that. We're just gonna get the zord now. There's only one extra sword I do not have, and that's a, um, what's it called? It's the purple one, the, started with P, not the Parazord, yeah, not the Parazord. 
Uh, the boxing one. That one I don't think was ever released. I don't think so. But anyway, back with... Okay. So first, we're going to start with the Parazord, which was the first one that they got that I have. So what you do is you fold back the legs, rotate the arms here, and you rotate at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, back, rotate at the head. Oh, and by the way, every Zord except for the Pterodon Zord all have moving mounts. Tyrannosaurus, the Triceratops, the Parazord. Yeah. So what you do is and then you take off the main Megazord's drill, under a Megazord's drill, plug in the Parazord, and then there you've got this. So scary. In all reality, in the show, it was more of like this. Like, much faster, so it made more sense in the show than it does in the toy. So yeah, taking this one off, we're now gonna go plug back in this drill arm. We're now gonna go to the Ankylosaur, the third one that they got. Which, by the way, these two came in two pack. Now, what you do is you basically just fold up its legs. Front one's first, back one second. Plug it. In. How is it? It's almost. There we go. And now he has two drills. And a shield. Which this was actually used as a shield in the show. And the finisher for this form is basically um, double drill slash. Which basically they did this slash. And then slash. Which I think these batteries are actually dying out on me now. <laughs> and also they deflect it with this. So yeah. And also if you want to be creative. And they also like a shout out this bit right here. The button right here. You push it. You can take it out. And because of later on in the show. When they got the uh, Tri-Max Megazord. I think it was Tri- Or Triassic Megazord. Wait one second. Later on they got the tri Asic Megazord, which um had this attack, which had this um form where it fused all the extra swords. Um no this one got this weapon, which is basically two axes that are supposed to be like a shield I'm guessing. Yeah, not very effective. So yeah, you could do that if you wanted to. Yeah, and if you wanted, you could put onto the put the parasword onto the storm so that it could be like a scissor drill deck thing. Now we're gonna take this arm off. I'm gonna leave that one on. We're gonna take the Demetrio sword, fold back to his legs, keep these like this, rotate him at the tail. Fold them up like this, and there you go. Now he has a saw. So, yeah. Saw, shield. Yeah, not very exciting looking. In all reality, it looks better than the show. But, as most of these swords, um, the extra swords have is that well other than safety reason that this comes off there's also a piece that's um like a back extra piece that goes on to here that allows it to look like um it's supposed to be ridden and then if you have like one of the um the guy you used to use the triassic uh ranger version of um the red which i believe came with it as well I don't know, uh, it's bit, it was in 2003 that the show aired, I was about, let's see, 
seven, I believe. So yeah. <laughs> Still Triassic. I not Triassic. Still the Tyrannos Megazord. I mean the Triano Triannosaur. So I basically just say the T Rex Zord. Is the largest Zord I own. Like quite literally it's the largest Zord I own. And here is just all the swords I just reviewed. By the way, I'm going to try to do, like, every weekend a review or two. So, yeah. Be expecting that. So, for Fire Guys, signing out.